ready? Yeah. What is it? I can't wait. Wow. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, it's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Well, go ahead. Dig in. Let me know what you think. as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives times ten. Well, what do you think? No, it's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts, well, that makes me happy. Mmm. 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 That did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> Morning, Strawberry. <sighs> Morning, Apple. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Mm. What's going on? I'm getting messages from all over the world. People wanting to order Strawberry's famous Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. How'd it get to be famous? Oh, uh, I think I can answer that question. May I? Um, sure. Hey, that's my Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Famous O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. That's my new food review section on my Berry Best Bit site. I call it Yummy Yums. And the honor of my first food review went to you. Berry Bitty City, home to Strawberries Cafe, premiered a fantastically fabulous dessert. Yours truly was honored to be first to dip a spoon in the ultimate taste treat. <laughs> O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprise. Delectably delicious, delightful flavor, taste-tempting texture, a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. <laughs> you have to try it to believe it. Oh, Apple, you're so sweet. Ah, thanks, Strawberry. And every word of it is true. Like I say on my Berry Best Bits page, I call them like I taste them. And I've tasted them all around the Berry Bitty world. What can I say? Your desserts are incredible. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm just sorry I have to disappoint all your readers. What do you mean? I'm getting messages from people all over the world trying to place orders for my Olalyberry rhubarb surprises. And I... Oh, here's another one. I'll have to tell them it's only available here at my cafe. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if it's not only available at your cafe? What? Where else? 24-7 around the globe. All dessert, all the time. That's it! Huh? Oh, Ali Berry Rhubarb Surprise! What if people can get it everywhere? Delivered right to their door! You mean, like a mail order business? Exactly! They order your dessert online, you mail it to them. Do you think that many people would really want to order my. How many's that? 112. Just so far this morning. And just for that one dessert. But why just one dessert? Strawberry, all your desserts are great. Think of it. You and Sweet and Sour could make them. I'll taste test them and review them in my Berry Best Bits page. And we ship them all over the world. What do you think? I think it sounds... big. Big? It's colossal! I can see it now. The 
Berry Bitty Cookery Company. Fresh desserts direct from Strawberry's Kitchen to your door. What do you think? Well, it sounds wonderful. 172. Are we going to tell them no? Or are we going to fill those orders? Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call them like I taste them. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. Ah. Mmm. 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 Strawberry, you have done it again. Simple words fail to describe the great goodness. The incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morning, Strawberry. A delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple. Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your Great Great Brandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> Great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, ten Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Blueberry, I got a problem. 
sort of a big problem, actually. A really big problem. Maybe you can help me out? Well, certainly. If I can. <laughs> what exactly is the problem? Well, <laughs> you see the word exactly. <laughs> that's that's uh, part of the problem. Saying things exactly, that's a... Uh, ooh, no, uh... It's kind of like a, what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I gotta find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. And the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa. And this one, this is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa, look at all these words. Isn't it incredible? Thousands, thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just... Uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring them back as soon as I'm done. What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced. Soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out of the ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake eating experience. This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very Berry Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Any better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Berry Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is strawberry shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> she saw Apple's review of my Very Berry Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people. <gasps> oh, oh, that's wow. great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'd better get busy. Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! Hi, Blueberry. Brought your books back. Thanks, Apple. Did they help? Yep, perfectly. Problem solved. Well, looks like the mail order business is booming. And it's thanks to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Just calling them like I chased them. Oh, don't be modest. You know royalty is reading your very best bits page? No, come on. They're delivering a 16-layer cake that the Queen of Berryvania ordered for her inaugural ball. Wow, that's great! <gasps> uh, do you happen to know, uh, what, what kind of cake it was? Very Berry Spice Royale. The one you raved about in your review. So 
nice when the purple puff petals close and my nose can unstuff. <laughs> I bet it's nice to be able to smell and taste your own cooking again. Is it ever? I couldn't even... Berry Bitty Cookery Company, desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speak... Oh, hello, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon? <gasps> Burnt berry biscuits! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but... Yes? Yes, of course. I'll take care of everything. Strawberry? What is it? Tell you later. It's the cake. The Queen's cake. I gotta go! <laughs> Put it back together again? Told you the truth. I should have told you the truth too. Apple, what are you doing here? Tell me the truth about what? Your cake. I just couldn't find a way to say what was wrong with it, so I found a way to say everything that was right about it, and left the bad news part out. What bad news part? The cake didn't taste very good. It didn't. No, don't do that. Why? What's wrong with it? So that's what happened. What? I put in persimmon pepper instead of persimmon powder. They're right next to each other on my spice rack. With my nose stuffed up, I couldn't smell the difference. Hi, sweet. Strawberry. No, everything's fine, but we're going to need another cake. I'm on my way back to help you. Uh, thanks. See you in a few. Strawberry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to protect your reputation. It's okay, Apple. You never have to be afraid to tell me the truth about what you think of my cooking, good or bad. Just call them like you taste them. News reports from last night's exclusive inaugural ball for the Queen of Berryvania say it was the event of the year. Lots of high fashion, ballroom full of famous royalty, gigantic dinner attended by blah, blah, blah. Ah, here. The Queen herself proclaimed the highlight of the evening was the sumptuous dessert from Berry Bitty City, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Berry Spice Royale Cake. The most delicious I have ever tasted. Another order for Berry Berry Spice Royale! Mm. <laughs> Later. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, 
we're all on a cake break. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey day. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carriage. Oh, oh, and twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the princess. Oh. Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, oh, the buffet! Oh, oh, Before, oh, after... Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berry Kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help, Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. <laughs> Do I want to know? Come on in, Blueberry. We're trying out my parade dance. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks happy. Speaking of parade, 
Chromatic 3000 writing pen with low flow ink. Then I remembered somebody borrowed it. Oops. <laughs> That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> 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 that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what to really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says... I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. 
But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <gasps> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh. <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So yeah. yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. 
She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why don't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. <laughs> Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <gasps> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! Oh! Hey! Over here! Whoa! We've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. Yeah. 
delivery for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> shoulders. Wow, it's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh what's great on here? <laughs> Let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Oh, it's really oh, sweet. Which we're gonna miss her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's the boss. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, you! Wish I'd never laid eyes on you. Wait! <gasps> I got it! That gadget we got? We just didn't get it. Get it? Got it! Yet the tail look to doom lap up. Just Barry and Byron installing a new set of lug nuts. Very large lug nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. <laughs> I lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Berry Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well... Maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame. The fortune. The fans. Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry, you have to help.
help me tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, come yeah! on, Wonderful. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumbling boys and berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls. I mean, <laughs> step aside. Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Raspberry. She eats up the fashion scene. Ew. 
dear. I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> Can we love that show? What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. This and... Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... But this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, rawr. okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. Oh, this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright Without you, the sun won't shine as bright
I think Raspberry's going to love it. She isn't gonna hear it. Ra ra Raspberry isn't coming. Mavis said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The Raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the Raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me! Uh, hiya, Raspberry! Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Ball race! <laughs> That's where we're going! The Berry Bitty City Boat Race! I can't believe they didn't remind me! Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Uh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I... Oh, no. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Hey! What's going on? Where's the bus? I don't know. Look! There it is! Come on! Let's get it back! We gotta go on our picnic! Pull it in! Hee-ho! 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 Okay, okay. 
Strawberry, here! Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you up. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. No, I tied it up. Maybe... You forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berry Kin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 
What? Something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby bearkins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <laughs> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the baby berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well... I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you see Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh boy, I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh no, that plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it? Gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about... Ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say... Uh-uh-uh! Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. 
Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all gonna go Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the docks. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. Huh? Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, I, I thank you. Oh, too bad. Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. Huh. 
Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I. I, I don't? No, I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dad's studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh um, that's nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night, and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug! Yes, Plum? Stop! Don't move! Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. 
We would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! that fragrance. Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Oh, my God. 
my, my, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows very many fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious, too. <laughs> well, thank you. But there's only one problem. My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles? Check. Thread? Check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows? Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Berry Can Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on Willow. I'll take Willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables? Fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Really? What should I do? I mean, should I say something? You know how she takes so much pride in being organized. I know, but I think we have to. Um, Orange? <coughs> yes, Strawberry? Your, um, uh, peaches and carrots? Peaches next to peas, just the other side plums. Carrots 
right before cucumbers. Yes, there. If you get to kumquats, you've gone too far. What I mean is, I mean, the problem is... Pro there, there, there's a problem? Oh, just, um, a bitty one. Oh, good. How bitty? Well, the peaches and carrots are sort of, um, wilting in the sun. Oh, the sun? I'm on it. I got it. It's under control. No worries. Great. Just great. One more goof up like this and the whole town will think I don't know how to run my store. Oh. Um, everything okay? Well, sure. Sun solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, he's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, well, you know what? <laughs> Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. I can feel 
you feeling it? If you like your child to have a truly creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... Um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it. Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency. What is it, Berry Bloom? 
It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back. Oh, I need your help. Hey! is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Shortcake. <laughs> Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. You found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Now, now! You know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah. if you did. Yeah. <laughs> Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, uh, harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! Uh. At the 
this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh. I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh. It stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! And heave! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's hold your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the very best princess and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? Mm. It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why won't you tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The berry can tell me that... Oh, oh. my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. 
Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Barry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true, quite true. All right, we'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic! Oh, yeah! Oh, I love it! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it! I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. What's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? 
What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry! It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yeah! But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you.
very